Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to discuss what is disk scheduling, what are the parameters that need to be conferred while disk scheduling and the algorithm implementing disk scheduling known as FCFS. As we know that the major components of an operating system is a hardware concern and an operating system must concern this hardware to control is in the efficient way. For disk drivers, we need to have faster access time and larger disk bandwidth to have that type of hardware control. So the first components that are needed to be considered are first is the seek time that is the time required for the disk sector to move the head to the cylinder where the desired sector is actually residing. The next one is the rotation latency. This is the time for the disk sector to rotate around the disk sector to move the disk head. And the third one is the transferred bandwidth that is the actual number of bandwidth divided by the total time from the first request that was serviced till the last parameter which was requested. Now these are the concerns that need to be considered and addressed by the hardware requirements. So whenever a system is performing an I.O. to and from the disk, it actually makes a system call that is run to the operating system. It may then receive a number of information. First one is the I.O. is of input or output. The first information is the input or output I.O. operation is done. The next is what is the disk address of the transfer. The next is what is the memory address of the transfer. And the last one is what are the number of sectors that are needs to be transferred. So once these informations are given to the operating system, then it can be allocated if the disk drives are and the controllers are available, request the service. If they are busy, then the new request should be added in a queue where the pending requests for the device queues are already waiting. In multi-programming system, there are many processes, so it is very natural to have a queue of pending requests. So it is upon the disk scheduler to schedule which pending request it will serve next. So this is all about disk scheduling. Now we will implement the disk scheduling with an FCFS or first come first serve scheduling algorithm. Whenever the first head arrives, then it will move the head to the particular cylinder or desired sector. Either it is in the one end and other to the other end, but it will move the head to that particular sector that is exactly next pending request of the queue. So it is intrinsically fair, but it is generally not given the fastest services. So first we will solve with a number of references or pending request and the head is pointing at the this sector 53. And the disk sectors are numbered between 0 to 199. So as we can see that our head is at 53, so the first head it has 53. So now we have 98 the head scheduling cylinder and we will move the head from 53 to 98. Next it will move to 183. Next, it will move to 37. Next to 122. Next to 
नेक्स्ट टू फोर्टीन नाउ टू वन ट्वेंटी फोर नाउ टू सिक्सटी फाइव And at last to the sixty-seven. Now, as you can see, the wild swing from the one eighty-three to the thirty-seven, then one twenty-two to fourteen, again to one twenty-four, generally illustrates the problem of this type of algorithm. So here, the total head movement we will calculate now and see that it is varying highly from the sections that are described here. so it is generally not implemented in this scheduling because of this problem now we will calculate the total head movement for this algorithm first the movement was from 53 to 98 Next, it was from ninety-eight to one eighty-three. So, according to this, all will be summed up. Here, we are using one eighty-three minus thirty-seven, but actually the need is thirty-seven minus one eighty-three. So, we are not considering the negative value; only taking the mod value. So the total head count will be here six four zero. So as we can see, there is an exceedingly high number of head counts or total head movements involved in FCFS. That is why we generally avoid this type of algorithm. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.